Hello and welcome to the Dork Squad YouTube channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to take an updated look at how to set up custom alerts using Streamlabs. For more videos on setting up or improving your live stream, make sure you hit the subscribe button below or check out my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash scott2dork. Since my last video showing you how to set up alerts, Streamlabs OBS has undergone a little bit of a facelift in their 0.17 version update, making my last video maybe a little bit confusing. Most of these instructions are the same, but I thought I'd refresh this setup video to make sure things are a little clearer. Now this video applies to OBS Studios and Streamlabs OBS version 0.17 and later. This has actually made my job a little bit easier because the setup for both applications are exactly the same. Now, if you haven't downloaded and set up an OBS program, pause this video, jump over to my YouTube channel where I have a detailed setup guide for both applications. But for right now, we're going to jump straight into creating those alerts. Open your web browser and head to streamlabs.com and log in using your Twitch account. On the left hand side of the screen, select Alert Box or click All Widgets, where you'll find Alert Box and a number of other Streamlabs add-ons. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, you can access these settings by adding a new source, then by selecting Alert Box. This will allow you to create your alert box exactly like you would from your web browser, but with the ability to combine a few steps during setup. But for now, I'll show you a setup that will work for both OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. Let's go back to your alert box settings page in your web browser. This first page is your general alert settings. We probably don't need to adjust anything on this page right now, but it's where you can set default settings across all your alerts. You'll notice tabs for a number of different alerts on this page, including follows, subscriptions, donations, hosts, raids, and much more and buttons to test each of these scenarios. We're going to start by setting up an alert for a new Twitch follower. We want to ensure that the follow alerts are enabled. You can choose the layout of your alerts, the animation as your alerts appear and disappear. You can set a custom message template that appears alongside your image. The name in brackets identifies the user who just followed you. You can also set your text animation. Next is the fun part, where we get to choose an alert image. This can be any GIF, PNG or JPEG file. Pick something that will embody the essence of your stream and that your viewers will enjoy. To add your own image, click the Change Media button. A media gallery window will pop up. On the left hand side of this window, you can choose to select from stock files or your own files. Streamlabs offers one gigabyte of free space to store your own alert files. To upload your own image, select the upload icon. Or simply drag and drop an image file anywhere within the media library window. Choose your image and then click select. Once you've picked your image, you want a soundbite to complement your alert image. Once again, click change media. Select from the stock files or upload your own. Once we've done this, we can set the alert volume and duration. We can choose to adjust the font settings, whether that be the font type, size or color. Alert variations are for when you want to set multiple alerts for the same scenario and have them randomized, so your alerts aren't overdone. Once we're happy, let's save these settings. Scroll back to the top of your screen so we can find your widget URL. You can nominate what alerts you want to display on your screen by checking or unchecking each of these tick boxes. Copy your widget URL and head to your OBS program. Remember, these next steps are the same for OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. 
find your gameplay scene and add a new source. We want to select browser source. Paste the widget URL into the URL field. For now, we're going to leave these other settings as they are. Then hit done. Adjust the size and location of your alert window so it doesn't interfere with your webcam or gameplay. Now we can test our alert. Go back to your Streamlabs dashboard and hit test follow. We should now see the alert pop up in your OBS preview window. Now's the time to go back and adjust the volume and duration of your alerts, or any other settings. This may take some time to fine tune, but you won't need to touch it again once you've got it right. We can repeat this process for your subscriber alerts, your donation alerts, and everything else. Make sure you save each time you add a new alert and test to make sure they work the way you want. It was great. Two. How many dudes you know roll like this? Aww. How many dudes you know flow like this? Not many, if any, not many, if any. How many dudes you know got the skills to go and rock a show like this? Perkins, thank you so much for the. Dude! Here we're going to do a special thank you for Perkins. Dude, thank you so much for the sub. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you so much. Here we go. If you're hoping to receive donations, make sure you head to the Streamlabs settings and connect a payment method. Without a payment method, you won't be able to receive donations through Streamlabs. Once we're happy with the alert source, we can add this to any other scene by copying and pasting this source, or by adding an existing browser source. You don't need to add a new browser source in OBS for each alert. You just need to make sure that you've ticked the box for the alert that you want to display. And that's about all the time we have. Thank you so much for tuning in. To learn more about live streaming, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Check the video description for my social media links. Until next time, guys. Bye.